Hey guys, Adam with Equip to North. Well, I'm very excited about the piece of equipment I got here to test and review today, and that's going to be the Falkneven A1 Survival Knife. Great item. Now, this is uh, more on the high-end knives. The price range for this on, online actually goes anywhere from $170 to $300, but I assure you the quality is there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Falkneven is a Swedish company. This is actually designed in Sweden, built in Japan, imported back to Sweden, and then imported to America. So there's a process there. Now, this is VG10 laminated steel, so not only is it a super steel, very corrosive resistant and awesome, awesome edge retention quality. Like most of Falk even stuff, it does come with a convex edge. And just to give you guys a little look-see of the sharpness this thing is, and you'll have to excuse the wind fighting against me to get a good cut. I'll tell you right now, this thing is sharp. I mean, shaving sharp. Good stuff, man. Just to give some quick specs on the blade, the overall length of the knife is 11 inches. The cutting edge on the blade itself is a little under six and a half, it's 6.3. And it's nearly a quarter of an inch thick. Great stuff, a lot of forward weight, so it's gonna be ex excellent chopping. Great blade shape, it's a little bit of a modified clip point almost. Not exactly a drop point, but some great stuff. Like I said before, convex edge, one of our favorite edges. Not only does it maintain the edge really good, you actually lose a little bit of drag with the cutting. So even though a cut might initially be difficult, uh, once you get into it, it, it gets relatively easier. So great stuff. Well, I got some uh, frequent equipped to endure members in the back there in the log. We'll do a little comparison, compare and contrast action to give you guys a better point of reference of how great this knife is. All right, guys, here we have some uh, classic equipped to endure favorites here. We got the Ontario Rat 7. We got the Cold Steel SRK in Carbon V. And of course, we have our Falkneven A1. All great knives, all you know, focus around the medium to large range survival type knife. The reason these knives excel as well as they do in their areas is they're a knife that can handle large jobs like batoning, but also uh, are agile enough to do some fine carving and stuff too. And we'll get into that as well. All three of these are excellent, excellent materials. Just to recap, the uh, RAT7 is 1095 hard carbon, micarta handles. Cold Steel SRK is an older carbon 5 model, great steel. And then of course the awesome VG10 laminated steel from Falkneven for the A1. Great stuff, great super steel. So, just to give you guys some close-ups in reference to size and, and shape comparison, of course there's gonna be a little bit of difference in length in reference to this. This is only about a little under six and a half, and of course the Rat 7's cutting edge is right about seven. So you guys can see there, if I take away the space with the finger choil, you can see the it's very nearly the same. Of course the handle is a little bit longer too. So. But the weight is actually pretty comparable. This is actually a little bit heavier than this. Of course, this is only 3 16th of an inch, and this is nearly a quarter inch. So, of course, full flat grind on the Ontario Rat 7. Great knife, effective chopper, effective out there in the bush. Not bad for batoning either. Now, the SRK and the A1 are very, very similar. Very similar in blade shape in general. Of course, there's a more pronounced belly on the A1, and the blade is a tiny bit bigger but both have that modified clip point with almost a false edge up there. And of course the A1 is a, a tad bit thicker as well. The weight on the A1 is more forward as well, so this is gonna be a better chopper. Now the materials of these are both great materials. The Carbon V is an outstanding steel, very good quality for the price. And you no, know, I can't say enough good things about the laminated VG10. Awesome steel, one of my favorites in reference to strength and corrosive resistance. So let's go ahead and, and do a couple tests with this uh, new uh, Falk Neven. And before we have a chance to damage the blade pretty quick, let me just show you how sharp this bad boy is. And we'll just get in here. We'll pull up that a little bit. And just go in there and start uh, giving my woolly mammoth self a little shave. And you guys can see that nice little naked spot right here. <laughs> little, uh, little hair right there. So I'll go uh, around looking like a, a weirdo for a couple weeks just to express to you guys how razor sharp this thing comes out of the box. I have not touched the edge. Actually, I don't want to touch the edge. I don't want the chance of messing this thing up. This thing is honed to perfection. All right, let's go get something and beat it down. Okay, let's have at it. bite into here. Woo! 
see that split right there guys blade is still straight as an arrow man that's that's a hell of a piece of wood right there one of the gnarliest piece of wood I've ever baton through I mean I tried to go for the craziest batoning straight up against the grain and everything in the A1 pow no problems still making my Awesome. Got some tree gunk right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna take this big chunk right here. We actually uh, broke our baton. We broke our baton during that last go round. So we are going to fashion a new baton, a better baton, a stronger baton. And guys, for those of you out there who are great at tree identification, let me know what you think this is. My neighbor dropped this off in pieces here and there mixed with some other wood. There's a tree in his yard that got hit by lightning. It's been sitting in the backyard for about a year now. Well, not, 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 necess not quite a year. We're getting there though. It is some hard stuff to work with though, let me tell you. Amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. It's getting there. A little too heavy. So I want my striking surface to be right here. I have this nice, nice crotch in the tree. It's going to really help my baton from uh, breaking on me. It's going to be able to absorb a lot of energy. So I'm going to have to clear out some more material around here. It's one thing I like about doing these type of videos is that. If you look for opportunities to do different kind of stuff they haven't been on video before you can definitely find them ace keeps on stealing my good batons and chewing on them so if i actually take the time to carve out a nice one i think that'll do pretty well Pow. All right. Not bad. Got to work on the ergonomics. It's a little too top heavy right now, but we'll probably take off some more material. But just give you guys a freaking a preview on how awesome this knife is. Now we don't have our two by four.
pretty good with that. And that's with some poor form. <laughs> Good stuff all around. Awesome, awesome guys. Well guys, our, we didn't do our normal orthodox equipped to endure test with this one, but you guys see, I mean, this thing is effortless. A lot of work on that baton. I'll probably finish that up here when I get a chance to just give you guys a look-see. There's no damage. I mean, the edge is still amazingly sharp. I don't see any things, I think if I, uh, threw this back in the box and polished some of the dirt off of it, I could send it back as a brand new knife. Not that I would do that. The Kryton handles good stuff too. Nice grip, no real hot spots. I did find myself wanting to throw my thumb back here and that's actually a bad chopping technique. So I will have to work on that. Maybe I need a little bit longer lanyard. This was actually just a piece of 550 cord that was sitting in the drawer. I grabbed it and it was just big enough. So I probably need a little bit bigger one than that. So I can get back here a little bit more confidently and do a proper chopping technique. But all in all, awesome knife. I'm thrilled to finally get my hands on one of these. I've had a lot of you guys giving me uh, suggestions to pick one of these up, so awesome stuff. You know, so I just wanted to give that one uh, a go. We'll probably do some uh, other series of this size here, so you'll probably see this one back to do some head-to-head -head comparison with some other knives in the same category. So hey guys, this is Adam from Equipped Endure. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedendure.com. Don't forget to check out the website. The new members area is up. A lot of great stuff going on there. A lot of great content for those guys who join uh, the Equipped Indoor team. I really appreciate all you guys' support, comments, questions, emails, phone calls, everything. You guys are awesome. It's been such a great information sharing experience with YouTube and everything else, so good stuff. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you real soon. You guys take care. Be safe out there. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.